we're on block 5A, new row. We are using poppy red. Isn't that a pretty color? It is. Well, we'll smash it. Matches it matches your shirt. It matches yours pretty well. Yeah. Maybe this is poppy red. Yep. Maybe so so. Um, we need four patches of the ebony and four patches of the red. And then, so I got to plan this a little bit. I think if I cut them this way, they're the same size. They are. So... I'm going to measure this. So I'm going to cut my strips three and a quarter. Yeah, everybody's loving the red. It's a pretty cool color. So I love these fabrics. They did have a price increase. Everybody is having price increases, just so you know that's coming. Right. Um, Driven by the shipping industry. It is driven by the shipping industry. <laughs> yes, cost. So does so. that increase the cost of their kit for this? Um, no. no. Okay. We will not increase nope. the cost nope. of your kit. But we will try to help the customer where we can. Yep. So three and a quarter is what I'm cutting this strip at. I think. Now I'm going to measure again. Yep, three and a quarter. Measured twice. What's the size of the, what, what size of the cube is that one? This is out of the nine inch cube. This is die number two and die number five from the nine inch cube. Love having a new blade. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. Like better. I was so glad to be able to help. <laughs> I feel I've accomplished I've accomplished something today. No, I had my safety vest on. That's just not possible. <laughs> okay, so we need four patches, so I am just gonna layer these just like this, and I'm gonna use the leftover for the other pieces. And there's my four. And my salvage is right here, it goes through this way. You always want to make sure you're doing that the right direction because your square, if you don't, your squares won't end up being square. Oops, I got a little tiny thread. Susan's over there waiting to catch the dial that shoots out. <laughs> She's ready, see? Right there, she's ready. It's good practice for when you use when the electric. The bread comes out of the oven. You need a catcher's mitt. Did you guys do anything fun for Mother's Day? Well, I, Steve and I went to Topeka to my daughter's. Uh, that sounds fun. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna do them just like that. So we need eight pieces of the half square triangles. There's two on here, so we only need four layers. So I'm going to fold it up like this. Notice that I'm avoiding the salvage because I don't want the salvage to be part of my quilt. So see there, it's sticking out just a little bit. And then I'm going to fold this. I'm going to keep track of this piece. Well, I can fold it the other way too. Making sure that I get all of that die covered. There's the eight pieces of that one. Do the same thing here. Again, avoid the salvage. Salvage avoidance seems like a serious skill you need to acquire. Do they have classes for salvage avoidance? <laughs> no, but we could probably do one. All we right. probably could. Like one side has a very visible salvage, and the mm -hmm. other side is not quite as easy to spot. Sometimes it's the little holes in them, but yeah. Yep. And some pieces of fabric, you gotta look at them pretty close. There's my eight. So I'm just gonna start by piecing all of these half square triangles together. Um, John, what are you sewing on there? This is the um, PE. Suki PE 2020. 
2020. Platinum edition? Yep. Not quite threaded right, though. So I have kind of mastered throughout this my whole sewing standing up thing, though. Not that I do it at home. on turtle <laughs> <laughs> okay do our doohickey there it is i see it you have okay let's lay this one out because if i don't this will go so in the middle is a pinwheel we're going to piece this one in rows And then it is a pretty block. This one actually creates a really cool secondary pattern too. If you piece it together as um, just squares. Okay, red in the corners, poppy red. It's so amazing in quilt blocks. I mean, you can turn it this way and that way, and it you know takes on a totally different look. It's so it's amazing. That's really pretty. It'll be a really pretty block. I love the color. Okay, so that's like all of that. those. So let's just press these all in one direction. A couple people are saying they think the second row could be off. Yeah. Just... This one? Yeah, I think that one. I think they're right. And those viewers, they are quick. Thank you. <laughs> Do we have what our eraser one? Oh, seam ripper with the eraser demo. So here's the cool part about the flip it over. It just pulls those well, threads I just out. Take that and rub it across my stomach, and then it's on my clothes, and my clothes become my eraser. Anyhow, that's how I look when I get up from the sewing well, machine. Well, it's just much more convenient if you just have an eraser, right? <laughs> yep, let's just erase all of those mistakes. It's... We do have other colors on order. So this one goes this way. And that one goes that way. There's that pinwheel. So these seams are going that way. Let's do these this way. <laughs> Someone said they should have made popcorn. <laughs> Movies rolling. That's right. Dinner and show. You know, I have no problem admitting that I mess up because it doesn't matter. I've been sewing, well, it'll be 21 years now, quilting. And those shows that you see where everything just turns out perfect, I don't care how long you've been sewing, people still make mistakes. Okay, let's put it all together. Yep. If you haven't caught on by, by now yet, if you notice, I always backstitch when I'm doing my rows. Um, some people backstitch on their blocks as well, but they kind of always seem to stay together for me, the blocks do. So I only really backstitch on the rows. And I have had quilts where I had to go, that I haven't quilted yet, and I had to go back and kind of do a little mending on the seams before they were able to be quilted. I only backstitch when I remember to. And it only takes like one or two stitches. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. I heard that the Laura Star irons are back in stock again. Mm -hmm. We had some of those on order, didn't we? I think we have plenty of the lifts. But... Okay. 
this is a nice one. Actually, I like this before. Last row. See, there's that pinwheel. Thank you again. Viewers never let you down. Hey, sewing with buddies. Yeah. Has everybody got their tickets for the show yet? For the quilt show? So I wanted to tell you, I was thinking about this last night. If you buy them now in advance, they're cheaper. So they're like $15 a day. And then they'll be like 17 or 19 Something like that, yeah. If you buy them the day we have any day more of... single day tickets? I know that we were out the last time. Well, we, can get more. we can get more for sure. Okay, we're done. Let's press it really quick. And again, since we're using a sashing on this quilt, we don't have to really worry about what direction our seams are pressed, but I do press them all the same way. Let's pull off some extra seams. That turned out really pretty. And there it is. Looks nice. Block number 25. 25, wow. Seems like yesterday we were starting block one. I 